Hadouken! Hello world, it's me, Jamongbai. For today's episode, I'll be building one of the video game's greatest martial artists, Ryu. This is the Nanoblock Terra Nano Ryu. Unlike the Chun-Li and Gaio that I built last season, this one dons a little bit more detail, including a face. Everything you see right here is what's included inside the box. And when it's all finished, it's going to look like this. But we'll get to that later. Let's build up. I'm Ryu. I'm a martial artist. I've crossed paths with many during my journey for true strength. Take Ken, who trained alongside me under the same master. He has always been my greatest friend and rival. Guile, Chun-Li, Dalsim. I've been saved time and time again by those who walk my same path. I've also met my share of enemies, opponents I had to overcome. And sometimes, that opponent was my own self. My journey knows no end. I will continue to do what I have always done. Search for those stronger than myself. Let's <laughs> go. 
始めようか負けても泣くなよラウンドワンファイトAll right, let's take a look at Ryu. I'll get straight to the point. This model is awesome. Probably because I didn't have too many issues with it. For most of the ride, things went well. But with anything that I build, it's always something that I gotta mention. Honestly, it's almost a waste of time bringing it up since it's a common thing with nano block models. But I'm gonna bring it up anyway because this is Jamang by Builds. As I mentioned earlier, building Ryu was mostly a breeze. It took about 52 minutes of my time and I enjoyed the experience overall. With a 3 out of 5 difficulty, I feel that anyone looking for a bit more complexity in design will be fine with this one, even for first timers. From top to bottom, everything held together nicely for the most part. He holds very well on the base plate and he's not very wobbly, unlike Ultraman from last season, which I had to be very careful with. Let's talk about that common thing with Nanoblock. These sets often have areas where they rely on a single stud to hold blocks together, and those areas can be problematic, falling off with the slightest touch. For Ryu, the eyebrows, at least one of them, and the ties of his headband were the areas that I had minor issues with. I understand what the goal is aesthetically, but at the same time, these studs don't hold very tightly. I guess this is pretty much why they have their own line of glue. But I'll be damned if I'm going to import that sh- Aesthetically, Ryu looks awesome. He has a super deformed look to him, which reminds me of the games Super Puzzle Fighter and Pocket Fighter. He has his signature white gi, black belt, red headband, and bushy eyebrows that grow over his headband somehow. He doesn't have his giant Capcom feet, but you know what? That's okay. We don't really need that. Ryu is throwing, shooting, launching, projecting, Hadouken! Of course he's shouting it out because you gotta shout out your moves in order for it to work. That's just the way it is. I, that's just the way it is, alright? The star of the show here is definitely the Hadouken. I bought this and never honestly looked at the box enough to see the actual shape it has. I just assumed that it was a blocky ball and said I'll build it later and then put it away. I love the way that it actually has a proper shape to it, just like it does in the game. That's some pretty cool attention to detail, so you gotta give them props for that. Ryu stands a little bit under 3 inches tall, so let's do some size comparisons with other nano block models. Mega Man, Cut Man, Kara Nano, Ultra Man. When it comes to building nano block, the ones that go smoothly are simply the best. Ryu is another example of why I enjoy building nano blocks so much. It's a very peaceful hobby to get into. You'll have moments like the headband and the eyebrow where a single stud works against you, but these are things that I expect from building nano block for nearly two years. Take your time, don't sweat the small stuff, and just enjoy the ride. And that wraps it up for today's episode of Jamang by Builds. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching. If you're new around here, I hope you decide to stick around because there's more on the way. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. But in the meantime, keep on building. Peace!